More financial turmoil in South Suburban Dalton after a bank says the village failed to make a massive payment. Yeah, the threat now. Tow trucks could be arriving soon to repossess some village vehicles. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli is joining us live from Dalton with the latest. Courtney. Micah and Ray, some of those vehicles being threatened with repossession include Village of Dalton police cruisers and accessories that the village financed back in 2019, much like the one right behind me. Tonight, some Village of Dalton trustees and their legislative council are calling for answers and accountability. There's no accountability. In yet another shock to Village of Dalton trustees, a letter falling on their desks dated February 14th. Representatives from Kansas State Bank threatening to repossess 13 village vehicles, saying more than $76,000 is overdue and climbing. The Board of Trustees approved payment in May of 2023. But where that loan payment went that was due nine months ago is anyone's guess. Lawyers for the bank now warning the village pay up or be ready for repossession agents to take the vehicles, which include six police cruisers. Well, the consequences initially are, are life threatening. A fear for public safety if means to respond to calls and emergencies is hindered. Seven other vehicles also facing repossession include six public works cars. She can blame whoever she wants, but the board did their job back in May and authorized payment. She's blocking payment. Legislative counsel for the Board of Trustees, Bert Odelson, is talking about Dalton's self-proclaimed super mayor, Tiffany Hanger. None of them do the things that we do here. As unpaid bills by the village have come to light, WGN Investigates has uncovered exorbitant spending on lavish trips and experiences by Hengard and her allies, including a trip to Vegas that cost more than $12,000 the same month the loan payment was due. I have never, ever seen the abuse that this mayor is, is laying on the feet of her citizens, ever. Village of Dalton trustees going head to head with Hengard at meetings, calling for transparency so residents know where taxpayer dollars are going. We need receipts to understand what's going on. They're in charge of overseeing finances, but say the mayor has restricted them from access to those, leaving them mostly in the dark. On top of that, several trustees telling WGN Thursday they're now hearing from vendors that say they were hired for work and never paid more expenses the board was not aware of. They have no idea what she's doing with the money. And no clear answer whether agents will start taking village vehicles as collateral for the unpaid bill. WGN reached out to a contact in the letter to the village who declined to comment. They're coming. It's just a matter of time. Now, he went by the village offices late this afternoon to try and speak with the mayor, but they were closed for the day. Board meetings are typically held on the first and third Monday of each month, but it appears there will not be another board meeting to hear about this topic potentially until at least March 6th. Reporting live in Dalton tonight, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.